why don't you guess what's for breakfast, Harry? Is it toast? Guess again. Huh? But it's bacon and eggs. Is it bacon and eggs? No. Is it waffles and whipped cream? Not today. Oatmeal, yuck. Harry? Thanks, Nana. It smells great. Why can't I have waffles? Because this isn't a restaurant. You can't just order what you want. Wasn't it nice of Nana to make breakfast for us? Don't hurt Nana's feelings. Thank you, Nana. Oh, I think the newspaper's here. It'd be great if this was a restaurant. I could be the cook and Sam could wash the dishes. Thanks a lot. And I wouldn't serve any vegetables except for french fries. They would come with everything. Even oatmeal? Especially oatmeal. <laughs> then it's a good thing that you aren't the cook. Can I see the comics? Sure, Sam. Oh, look at this! An elephant escaped from the zoo. Again? He wouldn't. He couldn't. He did. I'm so full. Can I go play? Okay, Harry. You're excused. Harry, you didn't have any breakfast. And neither did we. Don't worry. We are going to have a great breakfast. We will? How? I'll tell you in Dino World. One, two, three! like a saber-toothed tiger. It's my tummy growling. Let's get something to eat. Where are we going? To Diner World. We're already in Dino World. Not Dino World. Diner World. Wow. I didn't know we had a diner. It just opened for business. This place is great! But where are the customers? You're the customers, and I'm the chef. Have a seat. May I take your order? Oh, um, um, can I have a bowl of sugar blaster cereal? Certainly, sir. <laughs> he called me sir. <laughs> Mmm, tasty. <laughs> now, who's ready to order? I am. I'll have the five alarm chili. Extra hot and spicy. Yum. I'll have that too. You don't like chili. No, oh, right. I'll have the pudding. I want a brontosaurus sundae with a cherry on top. I'd like French toast. Oh, with, with icing sugar and, and a little flag on top. I'll have the pancakes with a dash, uh, no, a smidge of cinnamon. Coming right up. The service here is excellent. I'll have to include it in my book, The Dino World Restaurant Guide. But this is the only restaurant in Dino World. It's a short book. Five alarm chili, nice and spicy. French toast with ooh la la. And for Sid, Pancakes with a smidge of cinnamon. Service is fast and friendly. Uh, hello, Chef. Could I have some juice? Coming right up. Chef Harry is very accommodating. Where's my pudding? Keep your horns on, it's coming. But he gets cranky under pressure. Oh, 
Oh, what's the big idea? You're trying to make me extinct? You said extra spicy. Extra spicy? Not extra deadly. Fine. I'll make you another chili. And another orange juice would be real nice. And another sundae. But you only ate the cherry. Hmm. I'm afraid you'll have to do the pancakes again, too. These simply aren't round enough. What? Where's my pudding? I'm starving. Well, I haven't eaten either. Oh, I guess I better put everything on high speed. <laughs> Breakfast is airborne. Where's the cherry? My chili is bland. Where's my pudding? Oh, no! That's it! I give up! Chefs are so sensitive. Well, I won't be giving Diner World a very good review. Harry, are you okay? No, I'll never be able to make you all happy. You're too picky. Picky? Moi? I think not. Well, my food isn't even on the menu. But did I complain? No. What is your favorite food? Fish sticks. <laughs> Me too. And popcorn. Mine's macaroni and cheese. Bubblegum, yummy yum. But it's too hard to make different things for everybody. Hey, maybe there is an easier way. We need to get some groceries. Welcome, Dino Mart shoppers! Fish sticks are on sale in our frozen food department. And our deli has six kinds of Moo Mountain cheese. Why not pop over to our snack food section for some popcorn? And don't forget to pick up some gumballs. They're more chewrific than a mouthful of a gumballs. Thank you for shopping at Dynomart. Have a delicious day. Sorry, guys. I have top secret cooking to do. Well, he's the chef. I guess he knows what he's doing. Um, can you bring me a canoe paddle and a bathtub? Fish sticks, gumballs, chocolate, popcorn, root beer. Dino cake for everyone. Wow! It looks delicious. Whoa! Bon appetit! Yuck! <laughs> well, what's wrong? Perhaps you should try it. Ugh, I don't understand. All of your favorite food is in here. It should taste great. Well, it doesn't. This dino cake is dino disgusting. <laughs> Trike? No, he is right. It is disgusting. I really wanted all of you to like it. Oh, uh, buck up, Harry. It's not that bad. You're just saying that to make me feel better. Yeah. I guess he can't please all of the dinosaurs all of the time. Harry, lunch is ready. That's Nana. I gotta go. Hi, Nana. I'm starving. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Lunch isn't too exciting today. Leftover broccoli casserole. My goodness. I've never seen you enjoy vegetables so much. Are you kidding? This is better than dino cake. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I discovered that you shared your oatmeal with my plant this morning. Uh-oh. He's busted. Would you like to tell me why? Uh, because it looked hungry. <laughs> oh, Harry. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> It's made of cheese. Just like my sandwich. Nana always makes me cheese sandwiches. They're nice, but it'd be kind of interesting to try.
try something new. My mom always makes me peanut butter sandwiches. You know what? I think the moon is made of peanut butter. It's made of cheese. Chunky peanut butter. Cheese. Peanut butter. Cheese! Okay, guys, time out. Huh? There's one way to settle this, Sid. What's the moon made of? Mm, big rocks, small rocks, and the occasional pebble. Nana told me the moon was made of cheese, and I believe her. Has anyone ever thought that maybe the moon is made of cookies? The moon is definitely made of chunky peanut butter. Look! Cheese! cheese. Chunky peanut butter! Cookies! I know. We'll just go to the moon and find out. Hey, Mom! Oh, Harry. I, I was so wrapped up in work, I didn't hear you come in. Mom, we need to get to the moon. Oh, you do, huh? Well, that isn't so easy, Harry. The moon is really far away. Besides, you'll need a big rocket to get there. Oh, do we have a rocket someplace? <laughs> Not the last time I looked. Oh. We have to find out what the moon is made of once and for all. But how? We can't get to the moon. Not from here. But I bet we could get there from Dino World. That's a great idea, Harry. Good oh, idea. Yes. 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 Take a look at this. Wow. Our rocket to the moon! Hey, check out the cool stripes. What's that for, Sid? Food, Harry. If the moon is just made of dust and pebbles, as I suspect, then we'll need a picnic. No, we won't. The moon's made of cheese. Peanut butter. Cookies. Yep, we'll have all the food we need. Better safe than sorry, I always say. It's time to go. My calculations were wrong. I wonder how all these big holes got here. That's how all these holes got here. Someone's been eating the moon. <laughs>
we go right? Moon monsters, they don't like going right. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. I vote for left. By my calculations, <laughs> we should get out of here. chip cookies. But why? My spaceship crashed here, and ever since, that's all I've had to eat. Every day, the same thing. Boring! We thought you were gonna eat us. You? I <laughs> know. I smelt your food from miles away, and I couldn't resist. But your roar sounded so scary. That was just my tummy rumbling because I'm so hungry. Scrummy yumptious! Come and join me! <laughs> wow! This guy's got a bigger appetite than me! I'm one full moon monster! But now you're going home, and I'll be left here with nothing but cookies! Why don't you take our rocket? And you can get back home to your own planet. But first you'll have to chop us off in Dino World. Do you have room for me in your rocket? Goodbye, Mr. Moon Monster. I hope you get home safely. Maybe we could visit your planet one day and bring another picnic. Just one small request. <laughs> we know. No, chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> you got it. Goodbye! Ah! Here, space explorers. I've made you some sandwiches. Uh-oh. I bet it's cheese again. Banana! Well, I thought you'd like a change. Thanks, Nana. <laughs> No, it's trike. <laughs> no, excuse me. Guess I ate too much moon cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, 
Arr! The most fearsome pirate captain of them all! Your ship is waiting down below, Captain Harry. Well then, me hearties. One, two, three! No, bring it back! I meant steer the ship! I knew that. I knew that. Raise the anchor, Mr. Trike! Aye, aye, Captain Harry! Mr. Sid, Mr. Steggy, climb the rigging and hoist the mainsail! Uh, all the way up there? Uh, uh, is, isn't there a map you need me to read, Captain Harry? Obey my orders! Aye, aye, aye Captain, Captain Harry. Harry. This crew is hopeless! If they don't shape up, they'll just see how nasty a pirate captain can be. Oh, what can I do, Captain Harry? You can... swab the deck. Swab the deck? Trim the topsail, rejig the rigging, clean the cannons, polish the port side, clear the crow's nest, hang the hammocks, scrub the rudder, bail the bilge water. You missed a spot, Mr. Terrence. Um, uh, I, I, I did. I don't see anything, Captain. Right there! Oh. oh! You failed to obey an order! You'll have to walk! The plank! Walk the, the plank? plank? But, but he'll fall into the sea! He'll get wet! Wet and smelly! This is a great game, and we're all having a good time. But you shouldn't treat your friends like this. You're not my friends! You're my crew! <gasps> Pirates can't fly! Come back down! No! Climb up there and get him! You must do as your captain says, or else. He's right, Lori. It's mutiny. We've had just about enough of your rudeness. You can't do this. I'm your captain. Not anymore. We'll let you back on the ship if you say you're sorry, especially to Terrence. Pirates never say they're sorry. Be all by myself. I miss my crew. Someone else is on this island. Yeah? Well, I order you to lower the anchor. Up. 
On the port side, Steggy! No down! No up! No down! Oh, have a make up your mind, Sid. Oh, it wasn't like this when Harry was in charge. Yeah, he know what to do. No, well, Harry can't come back unless he says he's sorry. Oh, I hope he's all right. Dug in no buried treasure. Oh, Mr. Spot, Mr. Spot. That's what I said to Terrence. Gold! That's it? A button? Coconut can go home to Charlie. Charlie? You're Charlie's monkey? Coconut fell into Harry's bucket. I have to get you back to Charlie. But I can't leave without my crew. I wish I found some treasure to give them. Sorry. Me too, Coconut. No, 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 no! Say sorry. Say sorry. Say I'm sorry? But pirates never... Why not? Pirates can do anything they want to. They're pirates. Besides, I was mean to Terrence. How do I tell them? Oh, someone's been littering. Okay. It's a message from Harry. From, from Harry? Harry? Dear Pirates, I'm sorry for being so mean, especially to Terrence. Can I please come back to the ship? Love, Harry. P.S. I promise not to be horrible anymore. Aww. Yay! Welcome aboard, Captain Harry. I'm sorry, Terrence. I'm sorry, everybody. I'll be a better captain from now on. What are your orders? Harry? How about your new shipmate, Coconut? Coco! Yeah! <laughs> Ready, set, Mom's home! Harry! One, One two, two, three, jump! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, could you do something really important for me? Thanks, Mom. I've been looking for coconut all over the place. Charlie, do you want to play pirates again? Who's going to be the captain? We are. Two captains are better than one. And the most important thing on a pirate ship is for everyone to have fun. Hoist the mainsail, coconut! And raise the anchor, crew! <laughs> Play in the sandbox next. Oh, right. I get bulldozer first. Bravo, Charlie. Thank you. All it needs is a moat. Good idea. Tori and I'll dig one. Okay, but be careful. Um... Uh, Harry, we're really close to the wall. Uh-oh. Oops. It's only sand. I'll fix it. Don't bother. I'm going home. But you're coming back, right? Harry, could you come here, please? You weren't using your best manners with Charlie just now. I was just having fun. You can't have fun and have good manners. 
Sure you can. Here, just look at this book. It's about knights. They had all kinds of adventures, but they also had rules about how they were supposed to treat other people. Can I read it? Of course. Oh, look at the dragon. Oh, I wouldn't want to mess with him. This book is great. There's dragons and castles and other good stuff. Let's play Knights in Dino World. Let's go. If you say so. You don't look much like him. That's because he's dressed like a knight. Let's look for some armor. Oh, I can't. I've got this thing stuck on my head. Where'd you find this? to be a knight. Why don't you be my squire instead? What does a squire do? Oh, it's a really important job. You get to shine my armor and carry things. Every knight has a squire. Look what I found at the bottom of the trunk. Ye rules for knights. It's all about how to be a good knight. Oh boy, <laughs> read it to us, Sid. Rule number 22. A knight always says please and thank you. Number 23, never interrupt when someone else is speaking. Guys, this is boring. It's just stuff about manners. Can we skip to the part about dragons? Oh no, Harry. We have to learn all the rules if we want to be proper knights. That was rule number one. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. But we're not doing anything. You can stay here and read rules if you want, but I'm going to find a dragon. Come on, Squire Terrence. Harry, remember rule 14. Always excuse yourself from the table. Sir Harry, uh, uh, can you help me carry this uh, stuff? Uh, in a second, Terrence. I think we're on the right track. What are you going to do when we find a... dragon? I'll do what every real knight does. I'll challenge him to a battle. What knight dares to challenge me? He does? No, I don't. I'm only a squire. Uh, I just promoted you. <laughs> You're funny, kid. What's your name? Uh, I, I'm, I'm Sir Harry, and, and that's Terrence. I'm Scorch. Put her there. You're, uh, new at this knight thing, aren't you? How do you know? Because knights are usually so polite and boring. Always following the rules for knights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not like that. I don't even know the rules. Glad to hear it. Manners are for goody goodies. What's the point of being a knight if you can't do whatever you want? Exactly. Look, let's skip the battle and just hang out. I can show you a great time. I don't know, Sir Harry. Unless you're afraid of picking up bad manners from the rudest dragon in Dinolot. No way. I bet I'm ruder than you. Care to prove it? <laughs> I always eat with my hands. <laughs> Me too. And I talk while I'm eating. Bla 
blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't use napkins to wipe my hands. I use, uh, squires. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Why? Because it's against the rules for knights? Because he's my friend. Say you're sorry. Hmm. No. Fine. We're gonna go back to the castle to be with our real friends. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going anywhere until I say so. Hm. You know what? You are the rudest one in Dino Lot. It's wide open. Terrence, you can fly out. Hey, you're right. I guess Scorch didn't see my wings. Don't worry, Harry. I'll get help. Very well. Let's practice rule number 132. Guys! Guys! Harry's in trouble! What, 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 what's wrong? Where's Harry? A dragon has him locked up in a tower and he won't let him go! Oh, I knew that quest was a bad idea. They were busy being nightly. Well, you should have learned rule number 60. Don't bother dragons and they won't bother you. Okay, okay. Can you get me out of here? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, should we help him or...? He hasn't been very noble today. But you have to. Knights are supposed to rescue people in trouble. He's right. It's in the rules. Yeah, he wasn't too concerned about the rules before. I was wrong and I'm sorry. Meters are important. Could you pretty please with Sugar on Top rescue me? Okay, we'll bust you out. Hmm, yeah, but we'll need a distraction. Yeah! Singing telegram for Mr. Scorch. Your eyes are red and your scales are green. You have the worst manners that we've ever seen. We'd say we had fun, but it's not nice to lie. So we'll just say farewell, so long and goodbye. Sincerely, Harry and Terrence. Really rude? I declare you, Sir Terence of Dino Lot. <laughs> Harry, are you out here? It's Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, you came back. I just forgot my skipping rope. Wait, I'm sorry I was rude before. You are? Yes. Please stay and play. Well, I guess I could. Harry! I made way too many cookies today. Can you help me eat them up? Me for... I mean, after you. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Oh, I see you read the book. Do you want the chocolate chip? It's your favorite. Thanks, Charlie. I love my new clay machine. It's so much fun. It makes all sorts of different shapes. I want to do them all. A big deal. We'll play with it later. I want to play hoops. Okay, let's play hoops. I want to bake cookies. That sounds like fun. I want to play hide and clay ball. Okay, we'll play hoops, then we'll bake cookies, and then we'll play hide and clay ball. Wouldn't you rather do a little yoga instead? It's so much calmer. And it's probably easier. Let's do yoga. Oh dear, do we have to do yoga? I need some help with my experiments. No problem. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll help you with your experiments, and then and then we'll do yoga. What about hoops? Forget hoops. We're baking cookies. No, we're playing hide and clay ball. Aren't we? Uh, I don't know. Everything sounds good. I, I want to do them all. How about we let Steggy decide? Uh, Steggy 
what should we do? They all sound like too much work. Let's just relax instead. <sighs> relax it is. Now, wait just a minute here. You said you'd play hoops. Okay, okay. There's no need to argue. Harry, you'll have to choose. Oh, but I don't want to. <sighs> if only there were more of me's, then I could do all of those things at once. That's it! We'll make more me's. Then we can do all those things. Ooh, that's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's go to Dino World. Harry, please. I just can't keep up. I just need an extra pair of hands. Oh, my. He's going to be extremely helpful. I guess it's just down to us, Deggy. You ready? Oh, um, uh, I suppose. Uh, hi. I'm Steggy. I was uh, hoping that we could just, um, relax. <laughs> wow! Come on, let's go find the perfect relaxing spot. Those clay hairies are great. I should make a clay friend for myself. One clay nana coming up. Hey, nice form! <laughs> oh, from three point range! Woohoo! 
Yeah, he's cheating! He's grown! Exactly my point! He keeps growing to win! That's it! I'm not playing hoops with him anymore! my clay Harry anymore. I want to play with you, Harry. How come you get to play with the real Harry, huh? Yeah, Tori. It's not up to you. Because the real Harry's gonna play with me. <laughs> me. Me. No, me. Stop it. I can't relax with all this arguing. I guess this isn't working out the way I hoped. I made the clay Harrys because you all wanted me to play different things. And I can't do everything at once. Well, of course not. Just make a choice. It's not that simple. Yes, Harry, it is that simple. Okay, I want to play a new game. We'll make a giant clay castle and all play knights in armor. Yeah, sounds like fun. Excellent. Then let's get to work. What are we going to do about the clay Harrys? Well, they can play too. some time before dinner, what would you like to do? We could go swimming, or we could go to the library, or we could go to the park. I want to do them all. I'll pick one. Excellent idea, Harry. So what will it be? I'd like to go swimming. Swimming it is. But then I'd like to go to the library and walk home through the park. next? Well, once Prince Harry had escaped the fire-breathing dragon... Way to go, Prince Harry! Trike! Shh! He entered the kingdom of the fairy princess. But to reach the castle, the prince would have to pass through the enchanted forest. What's chanted mean? Enchanted means it's a place where magical things happen. Oh, good. As he walked along the forest path, the prince began to feel hungry. Oh, I wish I had some food, he said. Me too. Uh, hey, are you going to finish that? Just then, the prince came to a clearing and saw a welcome sight. It was a big basket of ripe, sweet apples, but no one was around. Then who put it there? Oh, I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow. But I want to know what happens. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. Bedtime. <laughs> Here's Teddy. Good night, Prince Harry. Good night, Nana. Good night, dinosaurs. Good night, Nana. I bet.
that the prince eats the apples. I would. But they must belong to somebody. <sighs> I'm not sleepy. I want to know what happens to Prince Harry. Yeah, me too. Let's find out. If we go to Dino World, we can finish the fairy tale. Ooh, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, it's just most princes don't wear pajamas, you know. Prince Harry does. Oh, look, there's the apples. Oh, they do look delicious. Nobody's gonna mind if we eat some. There's lots. I don't know, Harry. We are in an enchanted forest. So? So? What if the food is enchanted, too? Ribbit. <gasps> Harry? Merciful mud pies! H Harry's a frog! Ribbit! Ribbit! Later, Sid. Right now, we're pretending it's an egg. Chocolate. <laughs> I think it worked. She's very grateful, Harry. flies are gross. He doesn't want to be a frog anymore. Oh, poor Harry. But how are we supposed to change him back? Sid, you read a lot of fairy tales. So do you have any ideas here? Well, kisses are magic in fairy tales. Especially royal kisses. In the story, wasn't Prince Harry on his way to see a fairy princess? You're right. We can ask the princess to kiss Harry. Ribbit! Nope. Uh, Harry says he'd rather eat flies. Come on, Harry! Don't you want to be human again? Crow. Uh, huh. Oh! She says she knows the way to the castle! Come on, let's go! There it is! Oh, but the drawbridge is closed! Uh, let's ring the doorbell. Castles don't have doorbells. Oh. Well, then how do we tell the princess that we're here? Allow me. <clears throat> His very royalness, Prince Harry, is here to see the fairy 
princess! The fairy princess is busy! Come back some other time! Uh, pretty please? It's kind of important. Listen, I've met a dozen princes, and all they ever want is to ask for my hand in marriage. Well, uh, we're here to ask something different. What do you want? Uh, for starters, we want to come in before we yell ourselves hoarse. Oh, why not? The prince! The prince is a frog. Uh, not really. He was human until he ate a magic apple. I see. So he needs a royal kiss to become human again. Right. So could you, you know, kiss him? I'm sorry, but I can't. Huh? Huh? No. Yeah. Why not? If I kiss a prince, I have to marry him. It's in the fairy tale rule book. I'd like to help, but I don't want to get married yet. Hmm. This says that if you kiss your prince charming, then you must marry him. But Harry's not charming. Hey, that's true. Uh, Harry doesn't even know how to dance. And his socks don't match. And he snores. Ugh, then Harry's definitely not my Prince Charming. Oh, so the kiss won't count. Exactly. Well, since I don't have to marry you, then I shall favor you with a royal kiss. <laughs> Prince Harry wasn't her Prince Charming, they figured they wouldn't have to get married. <laughs> Very clever. So the princess kissed him, and poof, he was human again. And then he went home and told everything to his Nana. Mmm, I love a happy ending. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful story. I'm glad we finished it tonight after all. Me too. But now, it really is time for bed. Okay. Come on, guys. Can we read another story tomorrow? Oh, of course. Maybe tomorrow we can go to the library and choose another exciting book. Ribbit. Ribbit. Ribbit.